Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Seek and Destroy. And today we are not really doing a Comic-Con thing, although it's happening right now during the Comic-Con live panels and stuff. Um, but uh, this is the reveal of Halo Infinite. And I'm a big Halo fan. You guys know I went to the Outpost Discovery and I had that vlog up on this channel as well for under a Seek and Destroy episode. And I had a blast there. It was just one of the best times ever. I met so many great people, so many big Halo fans, and it really helped pull me back into the world of Halo. And so I've been playing some offline and stuff, you know, from time to time when I get you know when I get time but uh but I haven't played any in a while and so when I heard that there was going to be an announcement today about Halo Infinite I'm like all right we'll put a pause quickly on the uh you know the Comic-Con stuff although we will cover some toys that are coming out from Halo from Comic-Con uh, a little bit later today and I'll try to cut together a couple videos uh, for you guys and hopefully get a reaction in here so the countdown's here it's got about five seconds left and then the show's going to start so I'll try to splice this together make something fun for you guys and hopefully you enjoy it ah is this it already? Yep, UNSC 25. Ooh. Oh, wow. Look, liquid metal. Sweet. Forging some new armor. Nice. Jeez. Yeah, that's right, they're putting together the owner. That's kind of neat, seeing the Even creation of that. This technology will save humanity in the war to come. War to come? I must remind myself. Wow. Liquid crystal cannot rise on its own. Liquid crystal. It's pretty neat showing the forging of the armor. On one seven. The helmet going on, cool. They showed that teaser a couple days ago, which is awesome. Initialize. It all means nothing. Wow. It looks good, and I know, like my TV and some of you know my tech isn't up to par of what the system will be, so uh, so that's cool. It still looks still looks good though. Halo Infinite, look at that. Oh, they're gonna straight up play a demo here. Nice, okay. It's gonna be a little bit of a longer reaction then. So I where we last already I, I must oh. be, I mean, this is a punishment, right? 160 days after we lost. Cortana, she's turned evil. Yeah, this is death. And she has the guardians. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> you think? <laughs> AKA, we're going to have to crash. <laughs> so that guy, I think they showed in one of the teasers. Uh, he's like a... He's, I don't know if he comes across Master Chief in space or what kind of his role is. No, you, I can't stand this. You are breathe. No, you don't get to tell me what to do. <laughs> You don't get to tell me anything! We're... Are you even listening? I count three anti-aircraft cannons. Three what? You'll uh -oh. be safe here. Oh, I'll be safe. <laughs> safe? <laughs> I haven't been safe since I found you. I found you, remember? You were out there on your own and you'd still be out yeah, there. Yeah, that's right. Me. It was one of the earlier trailers that they showed him home. finding Master Chief if we don't stop kind of floating through space. You keep um, saying and he that. rescues him. We're outgoing. I know I saw Condors over there. And I think he's been out in space for a while, so I think that's why he's a little erratic. Um, I mean, I'm sure that's a character trait of his, is that he's kind of comedically, oh my god, we're out now, you know, that kind of role. But I think some of that's from his exposure in space, too. Let me see what I can find. Cannons first. When I get back, we can look. Together. I'm curious to see what kind of, oh wow, and they went right into the first person. <laughs> cool. Wow. Yep, and you're on another Halo ring. I'm so, I'm really curious because, yeah, where we left off on Halo 
Cortana, our AI from the original games, she has kind of gone rogue. She she died in um, Halo 4, which is personally, like, I like all the Halo games. ODST is my favorite. I have an ODST tat, uh, T tattoo here. Um, but uh, but 4, actually, story-wise, is, is one of my favorites. Uh, I really like the journey of Master Chief and Cortana in that one, and the sacrifice that had to be made at the end of it, uh, and the humanity it brought to the role of Master Chief. Because Master Chief, to me, is like this power fantasy guy, so in the first couple, you're just kind of like, dude, I'm the coolest, the baddest, you know, I'm, I'm the best soldier in the, in the group, and that's who you're playing as. And then 3 starts to, 2 adds a little humanity to him, 3 adds more, but I think 4 really pulls out that, you know, the, the humanity side of him, and that he's not just this machine that follows orders, he actually starts disobeying orders, even into Halo 5, so his character arc is continued to progress as someone who doesn't just follow orders. He was the ultimate soldier who followed orders in the first few games, and now he's a critical thinker, essentially, and trying to um, do the best he can to save himself and the people around him. So I kind of like that. It's kind of like a Captain America arc from the MCU movies too, a little bit. Um, this does look good. I mean, it looks so far it looks pretty standard fare. I mean, the game, the, the graphics look great and stuff, but um, this looks like a classic approach to Halo, you know. Uh, you play Master Chief, you got Grunts, you got, uh, you know, Covenant members, um, Elites and stuff. So it's looking pretty standard so far. Um, the, the architectures on some of these looks a little different, though. They don't look like some of the typical architecture we've seen on the other ones. Oh, we got Brutes? Are those... Whoa, they look a little different. No, yeah, I think those are Brutes. Um, rock wall. Oh, that's cool. You know, it's funny when I play the Halo game, sometimes I use like the special armaments that you get, and sometimes I, I don't. Um, I'm, I'm very much a run and gunner. Not, not saying I'm good at it by doing that, but I do just kind of just run in sometimes and try to blow stuff away uh, for sure. Like, that's just always been my approach. Uh, if I play on a team, I'm usually like, I, I'll go out first, I'll take all the hits, and I'll shoot, I'll take down what I can, and you guys come in after me. Like, I've play that's kind of my style when I play typically and if you hear water that's just my dog back there see <laughs> that's Echo just drinking he's so loud when he drinks it's yeah <laughs> cool um, but yeah, so we're, like I said, where we last left, like John, uh, 117, you know, Master Chief, he's kind of started to disobey orders and doing his own thing. Um, some of his weapons look nice. I mean, he's got classic, uh, that looks new. Or maybe it's just a modified of an older weapon. I'm, I'm blanking. Um, I know that's an older one, but that one shooting the red energy blast is neat. Oh, that's nice. With the explosive canister, sweet. That's a sweet gun. Oh, we got a mangler. Okay. Sweet. So that's cool. This demo's. Oh, whoa! Hey, all right. Some Batman action. <laughs> we got a like a grappling hook and stuff. That was cool. Oh, and we can. No way. We can use it to pull exploding canisters to us. And it doesn't. It, it doesn't blow them up apparently. Yeah, I like what they're doing with this demo. They're like, all right, let's show off as many of the features as we can, including... Uh oh I was going to say, you better get out of there. That mangler's nice. Ooh, the bulldog. Nice. Jeez, that bulldog's... It's like a shotgun, but even at far range, it does some massive damage. Wow. Oh, okay. Get over here! But you can, like, pull yourself to them. That's cool. Uh, but, yeah, so Cortana, our AI, she dies in Halo 4, and then Halo 5, you're kind of... You get wind that she might still exist somehow. She went through rampancy, which is a, uh, something that affects AI. So, you know, AIs can only exist for... Oh. Whoa. Is this... Is that Axie? Is that the dude from Halo Wars 2? This dude wipe this out. 
Oh, he took over the ring. I'm sorry, not a yeah, Atriox, not a Axiom. I'm sorry, Atriox. Uh, Axiom is the thing they said at Corbulo Academy. <laughs> that means I, uh, I am worthy. Axios. So Atriox. He's from the Halo Wars 2 game. Serious? <laughs> Dude. Bear your fangs. Fight hard. Die well. Whoa. Um. So, uh. Holiday, whoa, it is, it's coming out before Christmas. I was hoping it would, man. We haven't seen much on this, and I understand why the trepidation of probably promoting it because of the COVID and stuff, but uh, hearing that it's gonna come out at the holidays, it certainly makes me want an Xbox. The thing is, I, I don't know if I have the money for both systems, but you know, we'll see. Um, this is Chris Lee, he's gonna talk for a minute. I'm gonna talk over him, uh, you know, because uh, I want to uh, wrap up what I was saying. So Cortana after rampancy, it's a, it's a, um, you know, basically what AIs go through. Uh, they only live for like four to eight years or something. And then they start to suffer from rampancy, which is a corruption in the AI. So Cortana suffered through that. She sacrificed her life to save Master Chief and the world. And, uh, and, and like, I guess, get rid of the didact. I don't think he's actually dead yet, but she got rid of him. And then now a couple years later in Halo 5, she popped back up and she's uh, alive again, but now she kind of wants to rewrite the universe and she wants to use the Guardians to do it. Uh, and the Guardians are these ancient robots that kind of are tied to the Halo rings um, and they're part of Forerunner technology. So um, so yeah, pretty, pretty awesome stuff. And so now she's maybe taken over the world, but it seems like this Atriox guy still has his army out there too and we got to deal with him as well. All right, so it looks like that's all they're going to show of Halo right now. So if they release some more information, I'll maybe I'll make another follow-up video in a couple of days about uh, you know what they're going to include and what they're going to you know put into um, and into Halo and like if they announce and make any other announcements. But yeah, it looks like we're we got to still deal with uh, you know Atriox. We got you know from Halo Wars two, we got to deal with um, possibly Cortana. I'm hoping she ties into it somehow. Um, it clearly looks like it's continuing the story. They say it's like 167 days after we lost, which is, you know, pretty true. I mean, with, with enemies like Atriox out there and what Cortana's doing, like, yeah, after the Covenant War where we kind of made like a, had like a peace, kind of a peaceful end, although there's still factions of the Covenant out there that still hate us. Um, but we kind of, that was like settled. That was a finished complete war. But after what, you know, uh, Cortana did to us, I'm guessing that may be the point of when we lost. Um, so, or we'll see, maybe it's talking about earlier when the Covenant first showed up and maybe it's early on. I mean, the year said 2580. So I feel like that's a little bit further in the future. I'm, I'm screwing up my timelines a little bit here in the video, you know, th trying to think in the video, but, um, but still it's, it, it looks really neat. And so I'm curious to see where it goes. That gameplay was fun. I really enjoyed that gameplay and that trailer at the end with that enemy who I guess serves Atriox or maybe it was Atriox. Um, he was pretty cool. I couldn't barely hear what he was saying. You know, obviously, I mean, I only hear out of one ear, so I got this new headset where I can, you know, everything's just coming through here. But his voice was like growly, and then there was times where Echo was like making noise in the background, and I could, you know, I had the mic or the ear plug out a little bit, and I could kind of hear him. And so I'm kind of like, all right, I, but I, I feel like he said he worked for Atriox and he was like serving Atriox. So, uh, but you know, you guys correct me if I got that wrong. So, um, yeah, what did you guys think? I know this is a long video, so uh, let me know what you thought of Halo infinite what we saw down in the comments down below and uh, we'll continue our conversation down there as always and i'll definitely keep an eye out for more xbox news more halo news and i'll try to do follow-up videos when i can and hopefully i think later today they're going to talk about some toys from mega construct so i'll definitely maybe make a video on that 
And hopefully we'll get some news about the live action TV show from Showtime because I'd really like to um, make that the crux of, you know, like a new Halo show on this channel. And like, you know, because I wanted to do one before, um, but I figure if we just follow the show and like the elements of the show and maybe talk about some of the comics or something, like that could be fun too. So hopefully they make an announcement this week about the show and we get an update on that because I don't know if that was affected filming wise by the pandemic or not. I didn't, haven't been paying close enough attention. So uh, hopefully not and or, or if they start filming again hopefully that's soon and we get more information about the show soon too i hope so thank you guys so much for watching the show as always like share, subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you in the future peace